welcome to my channel so I was at work the other day being bored with my co-worker and we were just kind of surfing the internet and she was looking at these cute cat beds that she was thinking about getting for her cat but these things were way overpriced as you can see so I figured I could give it a shot and try to make one for her and this is what I came up with isn't this so adorable and I made this for under $10 using these Dollar Tree products. And now I'm about to show you how I did it. Most of the items that I used did come from Dollar Tree. However, in order to get a beach ball this size, I had to go with five below, but it still only cost a dollar. Then I took this 14 inch reef ring and I cut out the inner circle, which I believe was about 10 inches, and I taped it to the beach ball. And I gotta mention that I got this idea from another YouTube channel called A Butterfly House. I just took her idea and kind of tweaked it to make it my own a little bit. She made her cat bed for $50 and I'm attempting to make mine for less than 10. I used three packets of this jute twine rope which totaled out to be about 1200 feet and I also used some watered down Mod Podge glue in a bowl and I taped down some plastic on the floor so that I could protect my floors from a mess. I basically submerged the string into the Mod Podge water mixture and then I basically tied it to the metal ring on the beach ball and started wrapping it around the beach ball. After I had enough string going vertically along the beach ball, then I decided to move the string going horizontally. I also occasionally strung some of the string underneath the first string in order to secure it better. After a while of wrapping, it became pretty clear that I did not have to continue to loop any of the string underneath each other and I could just go ahead and start wrapping it around the ball. When I got to the point that I needed to cover the metal wreath, I took a bobby pin and I wrapped the string around the bobby pin and tied the other end to the metal wreath. And then I basically kind of sewed it around the metal ring until I had it all the way covered. I also use this same technique to fill in the holes in the back of the cat bed and cover that up. When I was done wrapping the string, I just cut off any strays and I put one more coat of the Mod Podge glue around the entire cat bed and left it to dry for two days. Now you know it can be very slow trying to let air out of a beach ball, so I used a tool to help apply pressure so that I could push the rest of the air out faster. Wow. 
I took a piece of floral wire and I shaped it into a triangle and cut it down to the size that I needed. And then I took some spare fabric and I glued it around the triangle to form the cat ear. Then I wrapped it around the wreath ring to secure it. And I covered the wire using some extra twine. For the legs, I took the plunger stick and I cut it into three five inch pieces. Then I spray painted the pieces with this white spray paint. And I glued these end caps that I got from Lowe's to the bottom of it. I also cut the legs at a 45 degree angle so that they could fit on this board that's going to form the base of my cat bed. Here I just simply screwed the legs to the board in a triangle shape. And then I used my staple gun to staple the cat bed to the board. I finished making a dog bed for a previous project and I had some leftover material from that. So I made a pillow for my cat bed and this is also the same fabric that I used on the cat ears too. I thought it would be cute to add a little cat toy accessory. So I took this little ball cat toy and I spray painted it white and I wrapped it with some burlap. And finally, I finished off the look by wrapping it with some twine to secure it. And then I hung it to the top of the cat bed on the inside of it. And this is the finished product. I thought it turned out really cute, especially being that I only spent $8 in supplies versus buying one of those $100 cat beds online. Now, unfortunately, my co-worker's cat Lola, she wasn't really feeling it, but that's okay. I'm proud of myself. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And like always, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Bye.